Well, hello, and welcome to the Swords of Ditto here on Buto Plays Whatever, a brand spanking new game series just released today on Steam and the consoles. I don't know which ones exactly, maybe Xbox, definitely Xbox, and I think maybe the PlayStation. I'm not too certain about that, but I am super excited. It has been heavily anticipated by yours truly. I cannot wait to play it. It's a, it's a, was it a dungeon crawler is like, the, was what they were referred to. Uh, I am, I'm, I'm just super excited. I've seen a little gameplay of it. It reminds me a lot of The Legend of Zelda, which I actually got to play as a kid. I am old. Dirt is, is my brother. Okay. Just so everybody gets that, that clear in their heads. Super excited. Got my settings ready. Got my recording options ready. Let's go ahead. Let's start this, people. Kick up your heels. Grab yourself a beverage and let's get our game on. Uh, let's do it. Uh, are we a hero? We're not a hero. We're just regular people here. Regular people here on Buto plays whatever. I hope everybody's excited for this game. I'm excited for this game. Brand new series. Loving it. Let's do it. Wake up. Wake up. Wake, wake up. I made my beauty, my beauty sleep. Wake up. <laughs> Oh, I'm passed out on an island, huh? <laughs> Rough night. Don't tell me we've fallen uh, at the first hurdle. Maybe if I just pinch his nose. What is that, a, a stag beetle? That's what it looks like. Nothing like a uh, lack of oxygen to bring a person to their senses. <laughs> Look at him, he's all giggling about it. <laughs> I suffocated him a little bit, he woke up. Anyway, morning sleepyhead, nice for you to join us. Okay, first things first, we've got to get you kitted out with the sword. See that glowing light? Follow it. I don't see it. I'm getting ahead of myself again, aren't I? First time nerves. <laughs> There's a lot to go through, so it's probably better if I explain as we go. Oh, and I guess I should introduce myself. The name's Puku. Nice to meet ya. Now let's get to the town. Okay, Puku. It's, where's the glowing swordy thing at? What? Can I hit that? I can't do that? It was glowing there for a second. Is this, is this the way of the town? Okay. Didok. I'm glad those borders went away. I thought I was going to have to restart this. This is the main town of the island, but we'll have plenty of time for our tour later. For now, let's uh head for the statue. Okay. Let's head for that statue. What's up, little buddy? What's up with you? Hey, Jeshua. Did, did you hear a voice? No, I've got to stop taking double shifts at the Ditto Mart. Yeah, don't work yourself there, dude. A little burger stand, lick sticker shack. I'm pretty sure I'll... What was that? Wait, what is that? Where are you going, buddy? Come, come back. Air kazoo. Toys. Oh, there's my sword. I see it now. Oh, is it the sword and the stone deal? Give me that. Give me. Give me the sword. Let's fight. I'm ready. Yeah, I got my jammies on. We're ready to go, man. As you grasp the sword, you feel a mystic power coursing through your veins, imbuing the strength of your forebearers. You have become the Sword of Ditto. I feel good. Yeah, let's go, Stag Beetle. Ta-da! Look at you standing there all sparkly and heroic. Guess it's time I explain a few things, huh? Ditto is under a curse. See, every hundred years, the wicked witch Mormo rises to spread her evil influence across the, the land. Oh, it's a woman, huh? Now, unopposed evil is kind of a affair, so a hero, the Sword of Ditto, also arises to fight Marmo and stop her evil schemes. Hint, that's you. I guess that it's a pretty big asking, seeing as you just washed up here and all, but I don't write the rules and there's no complaints department. <laughs> so, and you want to know what's so bad about Marmo? Well, it's a bit off script, but why don't I show you? Beats having to come listen to some more, right? Come on, her palace is this way. What's... What's this away? You're not, you're not explaining things, to me, buddy. Okay, let me slash. Let me slash some bushes. I hate bushes. They're overgrown. Is this the way we're supposed to go? 
We need to check them more before we do anything else. Follow the glowing sword. Oh, the glowing sword's way down, way down there. It's so it's so small on my on my screen. I can barely see it. What's up with all these birds hiding in bushes? So let's head this away. Cut a couple bit of the shrubbery right there. I don't much I don't much care for it. Oh, this place is cool. Look at all these creeps. Guess they know their ooky spooky mash is about to return. Let's check the tower to see if anything's started yet, but be careful. You'd look real bad if you died at your first challenge. I would, and I probably will. <laughs> Mormo Palace, level one. Holy jeez, that sound. Oh, okay, I can, I can roll. So you, buddy. You want some of this? The shrubbery. So is that explosion gonna hurt me if I hit if I get hit by it? I don't know. But I will hack and slash these ugly looking things. And cut the grass simultaneously. I should be getting paid extra for this. Done and done. Let's kind of pause for a second here. Let's go ahead and turn down the, uh, the audio options here. Man, that sound is a little too much. Sorry about that. Okay, let's resume. A little, a little too intense right there. It was overwhelming my earbuds. Hmm, creepy castle is a creepy castle. What's going on here? Do, can I get bones? How about skulls? Okay, crack some skulls. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's keep going in here. I have nothing to fear. Apparently, I live eternally. Oh, wait. I was coming from... Okay, game. If I'm coming from the top, if I'm going up top, why am I going down? That makes no sense. What's up, skeleton bro? Ooh, trying to put some slashes on me, huh? Tuck and dodge you to the ends of the earth, buddy. Ooh, took some damage. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, now I have other things. So what's going on here? Oh, okay. Interesting. Ooh, that deals some damage. Stay on target, stay on target. Crack some skulls, feeling good. Let's head on down. Okay, now I'm on right here. Okay. What's up with you, potted plant thingy? Oh, you're, you're just popping those out, huh? Not gonna happen. I don't know. It looks like poison. Don't need to go. I can't, sh I can't shoot through walls? How dare. It's okay. Sniper team is on point. Done is done. Can I... Can't take the shield, huh? Even though it's broken, I still want it. I want everything. Give me everything. Shrubbery. Okay, let's take care of the big thingy. Oh, roll. Duck and roll. So why is this a quick selection there? No, I didn't kill him in one turn? How oh, dare. Okay, heading on up. Moving on up. Oh, oh. Wait, so what does this do against that guy? Ooh, he cannot take a bow shot. Drop your defenses, bro. So is this back out of me kind of turn? Am I a back hitter? Okay, so it's just a little to the side. And he can't defend. All right. Seems kind of wait pots. I love destroying pots. Break everything in this lady's house. I don't even care. I'm a house guest. That's how house guests roll. We break stuff. <laughs> we don't get any damage. God, God darn it! Okay, that's gonna really that's gonna peeve me off here. I go up top, and then I go down by. 
Let's uh, let's just go over here, wacky the plant. I'm, I'm assuming it's a plant. Am I back here? Oh heck yeah! Ooh, this the back shot, man, for the one hit crit. Let's do it. More potted plants, floating po potted plants. Let's go. Oh. Woo. Okay. So I can roll off the edge. Good to know. Oh, let's take care of this. You too slow, bro. Duck a roll, baby. What do you got? What do you got? What you got? You ain't got nothing, game. Dungeon Master Buto is here. Cracking skulls, taking helmets, rolling off things because I, I can't control myself. I just like to roll places. What do you got for me, Beetle Man? Ah, uh, Blasty, you need the, to light these things to get past this door. Have you got anything that you can start a fire with? My mind. I start fires with my mind. Use your torch by pressing Y while it's selected on the directional pad. Okay. You can open up your bag with the uh, thingy and assign items to the directional pad whenever you want. Okay. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Map. Oh, triggers. Okay. Okay, so directional pad up is that. Directional pad right is that. Bombs are to the left. Sounds good. Okay, so let's do that. Lighting things on fire. I'm a pyromaniac. Do 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 do. I like my little headband. It's cool. It's trendy. Oh. Nice third eye, baby. You wanna go out later? Have a burger? Ah, I should have known it. It was you, Puku. Only one can only hold off the vermin for so long after all. Yeah, well, uh, it takes one to know one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shoot, should have prepared something better than that. Well, now, Puku, what are you doing? Bringing this sword here so early? According to my curse clock, we still have four days until I kill them in the fated battle. No? Yes, you. You must be Puku's latest little toy. Charmed, I'm sure. I do hope she's explained just what you've signed up for. Oh, it's a girl, too. Okay, so I'm dealing with the female ensemble. All right. I don't much like toys, you see. I find them distraction, a distraction. They bring people joy, levity, hope. These are not values I wish to be cultivated in my idiot flock. So I make an example of you, young yun. I will unthread every seam holding you together. I'll rip your little button off your eyes. Wait, button eyes off your head? I'll pull out every inch of the stuffing and scatter it far and wide so that all may know what it becomes of hope. Wait, you're a toy? Whoa, this is definitely the first time a toy has ever been the sort of ditto. Wait, I'm a toy? What the hell? Of course he isn't a toy. It's a metaphor, you insect brain. Oh, okay. You, f you fooled me. <laughs> Deep breath in and out. And, mm, seeing as you're already here, why don't I just nip this in the bud now and save time for everyone? My apologies, Sor. It's nothing personal. <laughs> Holy jeez. Hey, no fair. Yeah, that is definitely not fair. She gave me a kidney shot, like, right off the bat. Okay. Unexpected turn of events is unexpected. And low did the sword fall to the ground, dulled in light and blade, like so many before and so many to come. With her resurrection unopposed, Mormo spreads her tendrils of darkness across the land. The people bowed their heads in fear, praying that the sword may one day be reborn to them. A hundred years later, just as the last embers of hope were dying. Wait, was I supposed to dodge that? Whoa, 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 man, I should be creepy, disembedded voice more often. Anyway, right, hello, it's time for us to go. A hundred years have been waiting to get another go at Mormo, let's get skedaddle. Okay, that was... Crappy. It's so gross out here nowadays, amazing what Mormo can do in a place in a century. 
Well, you have no idea who, what, who I am, what you're doing? Fine, I'll just give you a quick intro, ready? Do the latest sort of do-do. In short, run around, overcome trials, vanquish more, we'll get back to your everyday life, blah, 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 blah. Look, now, I know I'm rushing you, but we've got very limited time, okay? Once you get your hands on the sword, it'll all come flooding back. Muscle memory or something beats me. The shards should be with us on the last owner, which means the graveyard. Follow my marker. Okay. Dang! Okay, I did not expect to die so very quickly. So where's the sword? Where's the sword thing at? There's a treasure over there. There's a tre- There's a treasure! Can I get the treasure? Will allow me to get the treasure. Why can't I roll? No, 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 okay. Just check. What about you, bird? Can I have you? No? Oh, okay. Whatever. Peace out, bird. Well, that was crap. Where's my sword pointing? Was it down here? Was it down in this murky thing? Crappy directions are crappy directions. Brr, I've got a weird feeling in my stomach, and I don't think it's the leftover poop I had for breakfast. Oh, <laughs> God! Let's head for the grave before something icky pops out. The leftover poop. Isn't all poop leftovers? Hmm? That's a little weird. That's a little, that's a little quick question, isn't it? Yeah, I got my sword! As you take the sword from the grave, you feel a mystic power coursing through your veins, imbuing the strength of your forebears. You have become the Sword of Ditto. Ta-da! We finally have our Sword of Ditto. Our surroundings might give it away, but the last one didn't go so well. It still, I mean, it still means we have to do... It'll be hard for you to do, do worse. Something I mean not have mentioned is that we've only got a few days to prepare before you have to face Formo. Four days, to be precise. Only four days have passed. And it's time to go kick her scaly butt. But don't worry, it's more than enough time to get everything done. Listen to me going on. Though we need to get to the town so that we can get some directions, I'll mark it on your map. Okay, so we are in the graveyard, and we have to go right to go to there. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I was supposed to die. I think I was supposed to die, but I'm not too certain. But we can roll now. I kind of want to go back to get that, uh, get that treasure chest, though. I have an inkling for treasure. I'm not going to lie. I want it. Okay, the old guy should be in the Hall of Swords. Let's go check it out. The Hall of Swords. Donde? Ooh! And while we're here, let's grab a travel kazoo too. It'll save you a lot of legwork in the long run. Okay. So, you're gonna let me go? Let me do this. And it's definitely worth checking out the toy shop too. I mean, for work purposes, obviously. Look at that karate, that karate bird. Did anybody else see that guy? He's doing some high kicks. So, let's go to the kazoo shop. Welcome to Air Kazoo. Could I see your identification, please? Well, I'll be a new customer. It's been a while since we had one of those. Let me just find my new user script. Uh-huh. Welcome to Air Kazoo. In order to utilize our instant musical travel purposes, please take this complimentary kazoo. Doo -doo -doo. I wish I had a kazoo right now. Press the Y button to summon the Air Kazoo, transmit bus, or to exit the dungeon. Okay. To travel Air Kazoo, simply locate and activate the Air Kazoo beacons you'll find around Ditto. You can only travel to an active beacon, so be sure to activate them when you go and find them. I'll, ac I'll activate this one for you now. <laughs> Assign your travel kazoo using the direction pad from your bag with the whatchamacallit, and use it, to si and use it with Y to summon your R Air Kazoo bus. Have a nice day, and thank you for flying, Air Kazoo. Okay, cool. Wait. She already activated it. Okay, we don't have to do it again. So, is this the Hall of Swords? Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and sign our our air kazoo. I don't think I'm gonna be using that much. Let's sign it down. Is this where I'm supposed to go? He said sign my hall of swords. I'm allowed to stand here. Can't go in there. Why not? Let me do what I want. Hey, you turtle man. What you know about things? Tell me, little one, is that a giant dung beetle? Oh, it's a dung beetle. I thought it was a stag beetle. I was thinking too highly of you. I should have known when you were talking about poop. <laughs> dung beetle floating there? Or has my sensi uh, sen senality? 
Senile, senality? Finally caught up with me? Whatever. You're old. Then it is really you, Puku. Sure is. You're the sword keep, right? Yeah, one and the same. I was concerned my time may pass without this coming to bear like my poor grandfather. I presume you're here to discern the location of the anchors, am I correct? Anchors? Perhaps not. Given the blank look on anything, a look on your face, you have explained anything, Puku. Does this poor child even know about Marmo? Of course they do, I think. I did mention that stuff to you, didn't I? Puku, you need to start taking this more seriously. The last sword didn't even survive long enough to make it into our hall. Well, if I were here now, that just means that I'm definitely improving, right? Okay, okay, you're right. I get the message. I'm not sure you do, Puku. That failure 100 years ago has caused immeasurable sorrow for the people of Ditto. Her monsters have spread across the island, and Mormo's wicked rule has sapped our little remaining hope. The last faint gleam of hope is the sword here now. They are all that stand between our salvation and a de descent further into darkness. And that means we need a proper plan of action to take Mormo down, right? Correct. Your next move should be to destroy Mormo's anchor. It's one of the instruments of her regeneration and binds her to this realm. Her minions have squirreled it away deep within Ditto's cavernous underbelly. To access said chamber, you'll require one of the toys of legend. Here, I've marked on your map the location of where I believe you'll be able to find the necessary toy. Puka will guide you the way. Okay. Thank you. So, what do you got to say? May I be of some senses? No, never mind. I don't need anything else from you. What's going on with this beautiful painting? Fate, the benevolent, a portrait of fate, the god of destiny. We know fate was a god very much dis uh, very much respected by the ancient ones, especially towards the end of their civilization. Indeed, it is believed that fate was heavily involved in the Arcadian politics. Quite whether they really exist or not remains up for debate, but it's safe to say that no one has ever seen them for a great many centuries. Good to know, bro. I'm gonna just gonna do some thingies in here and get on out. Cool statues, by the way. I should have my own house. Mail. What's going on in the mail? You see the telltale strands of a spider's web and choose not to stick your hands inside. Ooh, money. I like money. Give me all that money. Can I kill this bird? Bird, damn you. <sighs> Heading about town. Gonna get some toys. Well, this place is run down. They even sell toys in here anymore? It's a robot. Hello, robot. New customer dot bat. Welcome. This is the toy shop at Ministry of Trials, approved place to shop for all the wonders of play. We stock a few or lesser toys of legend as well as upgrades. All new trial bag takers are eligible to receive a complimentary nerd popper. Pow, pow, pow. This foam pellet gun, gun does no damage, but it can hit targets at far range. Press Y to hold fire at far, wide aim. Popper that bat, you will now need to utilize this toy to solve puzzles at long range. As an added bonus, it takes no toy power to activate. Recycle dot bat. In addition, you are also provided with a torch. Local weather patterns can cause issues with power supply, so please use this if necessary. I can't get doing pyromania, but sometimes setting stuff on fire does a great get that fire does get a job done quicker. Press Y to ignite. Upsell that bat. Any toys of legend may be upgraded using materials found here on the island. All proceeds from upgrades are reinvested into running the trial system. Awesome. You got some new toys. Do -do -do -do. Assign items using the extra battery back by pressing the whatchamacallit again. Activate toys with Y. Okay. So whatchamacallit. Bag of toys. Pop gun goes up top. And it goes to the right. And I eat donuts. Later, Bo. I guess I should have seen if I could upgrade things, but I, I didn't. What do you got for me, Dung Beetle, bro? Well, this marks the end of my forced hand holding. You're free to roam Ditto as you please, but remember there's only four days until you face Mormo. Call me a bossy boots, but my advice destroy Mormo's anchors before the big, uh, big day. It'll make that final battle easier. Now, four days might not seem enough time for all that, so you might need some rewinds or extensions. I mean, since we did messing with time cause, <laughs> since when did messing with time cause any problems? Take these with you and see where it leads. Celestial token, a symbol of belief and the power of serendipity. You know what to do with that when the time comes, or I'll just pop up and annoy you. Either way, it works for me. Oh, and there's this kind guy, Astro. 
He's a bit of a diner, but he might be able to help with the whole time limit thing. I'll put a note on your map. After all that, I'm sick in the sound of my own voice. Velvety smooth though it may though it is. So I'll let you lead on. Go ahead. Ah, okay, four days until the showdown with Marmo. Is there a time thingy gauge somewhere? Look at that kicking ch kicking chicken, I wanna! So let's go to the sticker shop. Check this on out. Wait, what's up with you, banana man? Welcome, anything take your fancy? Well, maybe you, mustache bro. Uh, no, no, I can afford it. I'm broke. Have a good day. Whatever, Fiddy. Let's go, let's check out the sticker sack. Lick Sticker Shack. So what's up to you? Stick Stickers! Welcome to Lick Sticker Shack. I have not had a new Sticker Fiend visit in years. Stick Stickers! You can buy stickers here, but only if you got something to put in the first. Feel free to have a browse. I have no money, but it's okay to browse. Unlock Spin Attack. Hold down X to charge your spinning attack. Oh, okay. Unlock Charge Attack. Hold down X on your third strike to charge a powerful blow. Zombie finger. I thought that was some sort of used sock. <laughs> Get my drip. <laughs> Nasty. Okay, increase your hell ether elemental attack. Uh, oven gloves, fire resistance. That's a lot of fire resistance. 38%. Eagle claw increased sword attack power. Not too shabby. A wrestling belt increased defense. Okay, so it's just stats. So, is there a limit to amount of stickers? Take no damage from bombs. Dang! That's... That seems really good. Like, call me freaking crazy. That seems really good. Take 25% less damage at night. Do 25% more damage with your sword at night. And strike through enemy shields a can opener. Okay. Do I have any sticker packs? Appears you don't have any sticker packs. Okay. Well, let's just chat with him for a second here. Sticky stick stickers. I wonder if you can understand me. Don't. It's easier all around if you just roll with it. Okay. Nice talk, bro. Whatever. I'm piecing on out. Ditoa. Welcome to Ditoa. What's in the Ditto Mart? Let's just check out all these things. Today, today, just a basic uh, tutorial. And then just checking out things. And I'll probably end the episode after we check out a couple more things. Good day to you, after anything in particular. Now, what do you got in here? You got bombs, huh? Ether bombs. Poison bombs. Fire bombs. Milk. Sushi. Hot dogs. Medicine. Cookies. Donuts. Chocolate balls. May fate smile upon you. Thank you. I like to roll. I'm just gonna roll out everywhere. You'll never stop me from rolling. I'm rolling deep. So what's this burnt down house right here? Now that I've noticed it. Is this my house? Oh. What a lovely tea party. Can I sit and have your tea? Can I break these pots in your house? Because I don't care. Money! What's up with you, little weird boy? You know, they say there's a curse on Ditto, right? I wonder, what did we do to anger fate so? I smashed all of her pots in her house. Can I smash this? Can I smash your stuff? I want to smash everything in this guy's house. Can I break your windows? Can I crush your skull? What can I do, kid? I got a headband on. It allows me to do whatever I want. But you know what, people? That's going to wrap it up for the first episode. I'm sorry. You know, this is an obligatory instructional video with a little bit of exploring. But our next episode, we'll get to busy on apparently destroying these anchors and defeating the Wicked Mormon in four days. I mean, they're really putting the pressure on four days. I doubt we'll do it in time. I think the whole theme is that you get as much as possible done. Go face, die, live, repeat. You know, kind of ordeal here. But until then, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, uh, leave a like. Comment on down below. Subscribe if you haven't already for no new updated daily vids of various games that I will play. But everybody, you take it easy. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.